Hello there. In the following video I am going to be testing another armor panel. This sort of armor is made from two layers of leather that have been laminated together with hide glue. Armors like this were used by the peoples of the plains regions of North America, where trees are less common. One layer of deerskin by itself is inadequate for armor, so they were often doubled up and soaked in glue to provide some additional rigidity. To begin with I'm using a slate arrowhead attached to a short spear shaft. The spear penetrates the first layer of leather and partway into the second, but does not get all the way through. Again, the spear penetrated the first layer. This time, though, the spear was turned. Aside from being very brittle, stone has very little tensile strength. What this means is that stone is only strong as long as it can transfer its force into something else. When the spear is turned, the force of the blow is no longer directed into the target, and the spearhead has to absorb it all. This caused the tip of the spearhead and the tang to break off. The tip of the spear remained in the target. Now I'm going to try my wooden knife. It passed through the armor and penetrated about four inches. That blow would have been lethal even through the armor. Now I'm trying a bone knife. It penetrated a little under an inch. Not lethal, but still not pleasant. Now I'm trying my copper dagger. Against both thrusts, the dagger did not penetrate. The point is a little bit too broad. Now a steel hunting knife. Almost two inches. Now I'm going to try shooting it with an antler arrow. The arrow penetrated about three quarters of an inch. The armor would have saved my life. Surprisingly enough, the arrow bounced off, dealing minimal damage to the armor. Again, the arrow bounces off without dealing much damage. Now I'm going to try a steel-tipped arrow. The arrow penetrated the armor by about a quarter of an inch. Nothing to worry about. The arrow struck the armor and penetrated about an inch. Not pleasant, but better than it going all the way through you. Slashing at it with a sax to see how it does against cuts. Turns out it does pretty good. All of these cuts made it through the first layer of leather, but none of them made it through the second. The axe also seems to be incapable of making it through. Though it does chew up the surface a bit. Based on the dents I was putting in the straw bale after these blows, you wouldn't be in a good way after receiving one of these. Even so, a broken rib is better than an axe wound. The armor performed pretty well. Quite good against arrows and quite good against cuts. It was just all right against blunt force and it only provided a little bit of protection against stabs. Armor of this type could also be improved by gluing a layer of sand to the surface. You can expect that test in a while. 
And that's all I have to say for now. Bye-bye.